Hello everybody, this is JVB from the Post Game Report Podcast and talking about games.com. Make sure you check out the website and the podcast and let me know what you think. So here I have my Samsung Gear 2 Neo. I hate saying all those words. But anyway, now the last time I did a review or my initial impressions on the uh, Gear 2 Neo, um, I had stated that I was going to give it a try during real world situations uh, as I stated before I am an elevator technician and I had various reasons as to why I wanted this watch specifically for work so what I'm doing here is I'm rotating it and if you did watch my previous video you notice that there are some cosmetic changes to my uh, gear 2 Neo so one being and sorry for the glare there um, first of all, let me show the brand. I went ahead and ordered uh, some armor suit from armorsuit.com. I got this on Amazon and it came with the screen protector and a carbon fiber, I believe it says it here, black carbon fiber, fiber, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> uh, protection or something tape it's supposed to be really durable uh, scratch resistant and same goes for the screen now let me not turn on the screen here so you, you might not even notice that I have the screen protector here it was a little tricky because it comes with a spray you gotta spray the back of the uh, screen protector you have to spray the adhesive part and then leave it sitting for 12 to 24 hours with the carbon fiber uh, protection that goes on the, uh, right by the uh, infrared, the home screen button or the home button. You see it gets its own little sticker as well and the surrounding area. And then also on the sides and the bottom was a heart sensor is located and the connectors for the recharging port so you're getting protection almost the entire way around there are some areas as you can see right here that don't get protection now you can also take off the strap uh, which initially I didn't do when I started doing the underbelly of the watch then to get the finer creases to, to really get in there and, and put the tape in there, I figured out that, you know, it was a good idea to take off the strap. So I was able to do that. Overall, it took me about, I say, initially to put everything on about 30 minutes and then in total about an hour to really put the tape uh, to, to, to ensure that the tape was going to stick in the tight corners and you can see I'm getting messages uh, there we go Nathan Fouts my buddy from mommy's best games so I also have the screen protector as I stated and here it says it's military grade and it's supposed to have a lifetime warranty and it was a good idea for me to do it because I work in the type of environment where I will bang the watch, I will rub it accidentally against uh, steel or whatever. So I figured why not. I gave it about 14 hours for everything to dry. Me being stubborn, I didn't let it sit for 24 hours. I, I just refused to, but I wanted to put it through the paces pretty quickly. There is one spot where I didn't align it perfectly, and so the, the tape was with the, the very corner of the tape would stick out just slightly and when I took off uh, my jacket the watch uh, was got caught up on the sleeve and for uh, very briefly well not briefly but uh, the tape the very corner of the tape popped up uh, I managed to fix that now they recommend that use a blow dryer uh, with the screen protector and the tape 
So this way it gets a little tackier, and you can get better, uh, you know, you get better at adhesive and, and more flexibility when you're trying to get around these corners, specifically underneath and the sides here. But overall, uh, also, uh, right here it says Samsung, but they also give you, uh, everything's pre-cut, so you don't have to try to cut everything out perfectly. So everything's pre-made, pre-cut, and this specific piece, um, I didn't really want to initially put it there, but I, since it came with it, I figured, freak it. And it's a good idea because this will get all scratched up and everything if it's not protected as I stated in my condition in my job so I figured it was a good idea and I could change the band if I want when I'm out this is a little more flexible oops oh I definitely don't want to call hopefully I didn't make any calls uh, just a quick update and let me take this light let me adjust this light quick update on the watch itself on the performance of the watch I got a good three days uh, initially, whenever you get a new piece of technology, you're using it all the time because you're trying to get accustomed to the settings and, and you're just messing with it. So battery life initially is not the best, but for me, uh, battery life has been pretty good. Now, the biggest thing that I use here uh, that, that has really paid off is the pedometer. So far, this is what I've walked today now on the weekends for the most part we drive everywhere but let me go to my history so up here you're going to see uh, let me back up top right corner you'll see history you click on that you see goal you can set your goal you can increase it decrease it so my history now friday <laughs> the 25th gives you a nice little uh progression bar giving you an indication of what you've been doing I, th I believe it goes up to 30 days or something so as you can tell that on Friday I, I walked a lot we were pretty darn busy at work yesterday so you click on that it tells you how many steps you walked for that particular day so right here I walked an equivalent of 9.13 miles supposedly I burnt a little over 1200 calories that there's still a debate about the accuracy with that supposedly if you uh, take your body weight and you times it by I believe 0.53 you get the proper amount of calories you're burning while you're walking and they mean walking at a nice pace not just strolling around so I'd say I was close to maybe a thousand calories yesterday burning a thousand calories with the amount of steps so 19,489 steps is what I took I get a little gold coin because I have set my step goal for 10,000 so as you can see I've pretty much accomplished that throughout gotten close a few times but I use this all the time and it's great uh, it's a great way to monitor your activities it's a nice way to uh, motivate yourself to keep active and eventually I'm gonna test it out while running bike riding and things like that and of course the messages the ability to get messages while I'm busy just peep at them really quick and what's this you dug it up that's from Paris all right so <laughs> so anyway uh, overall the Neo 2 uh, the gear 2 Neo is still a freaking awesome device and with the armor suit the screen protector and the side and underbelly protection um it's it's looks good I, I think it gives it a nice little touch and uh quite honestly i i would have now that i think about it i kind of wish that i got 
the Gear 2, the one with the camera, uh, the ability to take pictures and stuff. Not because I want to take pictures and all that stuff, but because it has the metallic frame. But nonetheless, if you're still in the in, in you know in defense or you still undecided whether to get one, I definitely recommend it. I highly recommend it. But anyway, that's that. I'm JVB from the Post Game Report Podcast and TalkingAboutGames.com. Let me know if you're deciding, uh, if you're looking into a Gear 2, or if you have one. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And please, subscribe. Feel free. Alright folks, until next time, take care.